Ouch. Really uncomfortable. Really uncomfortable. All right. Hello, I am the genie from the boot of an Audi TT Mark III. Yeah, hi, I'm Peter. Welcome back to my channel where we are going to do a video on one very important thing that a lot of people have had issues with and that is how to properly seal the boot spoiler or wing OEM one not the ones you can buy or yeah uh, the OEM ones that go up and down with the speed I'm going to show you how to properly do it with a silicone some may say it's not the proper way to use it to use the silicone but it has proven to be a really good method to prevent water coming in the interior of the boot and therefore locking the boot or making it unlockable destroying your license plate lights and destroying your rear view camera all of which are really expensive to repair so yeah we have a couple of steps ahead but I have brought everything that I need to show you exactly how to do it so if your car is not sitting on a four bricks and is lacking every single panel that it can possibly be taken off you can still do the same thing so let me shorten my uh, talk and let's get started <laughs> All right, like I said, as we are a couple of ste steps ahead, I wanted to show you everything that you need to do before you end up looking like me. First things first, to take off when, once you open your boot, you will see your license plate light with an additional option of rear, rear view camera. You don't touch that, you don't need to do anything about that. What you need to do first is take this piece of trim, find the best angle, off of this, which is a lock. And you probably, uh, I don't know, maybe can, cannot tell, there are two clips on the side, so it will require quite a lot of force, to be honest, to pull this thing off but don't worry just hold the boot with one hand take it firmly and just yank it down that's how I did it multiple times it never breaks and if you're really picky you can try undoing these two clips first I haven't successfully been able to do that but yeah it is firm even when the clips are unlocked so it is kind of a tight thing to, to go off. Once we remove that, we are halfway through as the only thing left, let me try not to lose any of the parts as I film, okay, yeah, is this. You will recognize that your boot will look something like this now. Um, I suggest first step to be removing a emergency lock or emergency unlock for that matter because uh, yeah since there is a small cap you just undo it and just clip it off of the of the steel cable that is used to emergency unlock the boot once you got the emergency unlock off who let me see you will be greeted with two holes on this side in this uh, kind of a grip area and in my case those two holes had a two um, push pins push clips uh, there is no no way we, whoa almost died right here Yay, no, okay. there it is. Two of those, remove those two by pulling the centerpiece off and then the rest goes out. 
the rest of it goes out. Once we remove those two clips, there are a number, there is a number of clips, those metal clips that just clip into the boot itself. And as you can probably tell, one, two, three, fourth is missing, so we know where the one have four. Five, six, seven, eight. The light decided to die. Okay. Nine, ten. So ten clips, so there is a work to be done. But you just um, use like a, how would you call it, like firm and sudden yank to get those clips out. It's the best way. Just pull them s firmly and quickly and they will come off. Once you remove this piece, you are basically greeted with the same view that I have now. So we can start working on um, removing the spoiler. All right, quick reminder, tools needed for the job from this step onwards are going to be a small flathead screwdriver and a ratchet with a 10 millimeter somewhat deep socket. I am going to cheat, of course, and I will be using a power wrench for the lack of better words, since I really don't have patience to undo all 13 of the nuts. And yes, you heard me well, it's 13 nuts that are holding the spoiler to the boot. I'm going to show you every single one now so you know what I'm talking about, but it's really easy to recognize them since there will be a stud or a screw, if you, if you like, poking through the nut, of course, and it is usually the same color as the body of the car. Let me show you what I mean. Get ready for some handheld goodness. Yeah, shadows in the way. Yeah, I need to find a better one. There it is. You can see it has a yellow stud sticking through it. So it goes up and down, one over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Tenth is behind this plastic cover, really important. There is a clip over here, that's why we need a screwdriver for... Was it 11? 12? Third? No. It, yeah. 12 and 13. So it goes like zigzag up and down most of the way. Um, and once you kind of count 13, if you have the right bolts, it should be loose. So they have a really long, a really big flange, the nuts, and they are really hard to miss. I am going to make a photo and try to mark them on the photo as well, but yeah, it should be really easy for you. So we need to undo this thing, and there is a clip over here. Oh, you don't actually need. All right, great. Oh, great stuff, great stuff. We can remove that completely. There it is. It's the cable for the license plate light. Since I am retrofitting a camera in here, it is a good thing that I've removed that because I need to add some cables there. But yeah, back to the video. I would really love to stay family friendly on this channel, but there are a couple of things that I forgot to mention that we are going to need for this video. And that is, of course, our beloved silicone. We all love and share, care, cherish and a press for a silicone or caulk press, however you like to call it. Uh, there are plenty of names out there, some are more family friendly, some are not, but yeah, this is another thing that we are going to need. Back on undoing the nuts. Let the games begin! We have a, a good amount Oh, no! Make sure not to lose your nuts. One. All right. Two. We got that one. Three. Three, maybe I should adjust this, the speed of this. 
Is it two or three? Two, three, no, no, it's four. We lost one. Five, six, six. You must be telling yourself, wow, this guy's really skilled at what he's doing. Hasn't successfully taken off a single nut. By the way, the nuts are, like I said, they have, whoa, they have really big flanges. So, and they are silver. Because there are black nuts here as well. Don't mix them up. Ah, uh, now I forgot to count. Two, four, six, eight, ninth we lost. So now we are at 10. That's the one that was behind the cover. One over here through the hole. Ooh, that didn't sound really good. I lost the count again. Oh, this should be 12. And 13. The last one. The first one is down the drain. I am, of course, going to look for it because I don't want it to rattle like crazy. Have I managed something? Oh no, now it's somewhere up here. Oh, I just got it, I just lost it. There it is, yes, success story on the film. Right, so <laughs> we have all 13 of them. One very important thing, not uh, make sure not to close the boot completely. We lost something. What is it? Ah, shit. I lost my microphone. We are interrupting the show because of a te technical issue. Technical issue being we lost the mic. All right, so now, uh, I don't know, this seems still firm to me, but have I forgotten a screw or two? Don't think so. There are two connectors, one on each side of the spoiler motor. Let me just try it to... Aha, one has pins on, security pins on both sides. That's why one side won't work. You need three hands, of course, or a really tall guy. None of which I have. There we go. One connector is out, this side. The other one, not so accessible, goes directly to them. Oh, actually really easy to remove. Okay, now everything is out. Am I missing something? Because this thing still seems, maybe it's glued already. Maybe somebody already did this job. Maybe the 2015 model wasn't so bad after all. Okay. Okay. Okay, so uh, like a gentle push will unseal the original seal and will allow you to remove the spoiler. The thing is, I just realized we need to also remove the drain hoses. Hoses? Um, off of the spoiler first. I don't know just how uh, smart or unsmart, uh, not smart of an idea that is. Nevertheless, with a flathead, small flathead screwdriver, they are coming off really easily. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, the moment of truth. I hope you can see as well as I can. Hey. Okay. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> Whoa, this thing is super heavy. I just almost dropped it on my head. Wow. 
Wow, this thing is super heavy. And to be quite honest, the seal looks untouched. All right, we have the spoiler off. I'm going to leave it here for a second. Take a break and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, let me show you what we have here. I don't want to brag, but this is how your boot needs to look like if everything is fine. I'm going to try to lean you forward a bit. You can clearly see a really clean surface of the inside of the spoiler, whereas you can see a really nice line where the dirt, water and everything stops from going in. If this is the case, your seal is working as it should. This is what I just did, but yeah. So I am wondering whether I should even do the seal, but for the sake of video and hopefully helping some of you out, I um, wanted to do all of this just to make a video. So the next step for you would be to put a bead of silicone all around where this edge is. So on the outer side of the holes for the screws, all the way around, all the way around, try to get a bead of silicone that's un, um, uninterrupted, that is the word. So you have a really nice long line of silicone. If it goes a little bit over the line, it's not such a big problem because uh, nobody will be able to see that anyways, but try to, to stay as neat as possible and just do a bit of silicone around, place your spoiler back in and tighten the screws. With that, you are basically done with the job. Uh, installment goes just like we did a remove. We did the removal, so put the connectors back in after you've put all of the screws back in. Don't forget to clean the hoses for the drains since they are now free on the... Oh, you didn't see that. Yeah, don't forget to clean those drains since they are now free from... Uh, free to access. Like I said, put the spoiler back in with a fresh bead of silicone, put all 13 nuts back in, two connectors, one on this side, one on the, the other side. Now I can't seem to find the other connector, so it might have come off with the spoiler. Let me check, let me check. Oh my God, this is so heavy, yeah. So you do not need to unplug this connector. Just unplug the one on the left hand side. Okay, we live and learn, I guess. Live and learn. I'm actually really surprised at how heavy that spoiler is. But <clears throat> as you saw, it took me 10 minutes of removal once you have all the covers off. So I would say half an hour, an hour job and it's really worth doing it as a preventative maintenance, as something you can do on the weekends to prevent water coming in because there are so many people on the Facebook groups, on the forums, all over the internet saying they have the li their license plate lights go off and the module comes, uh, you cannot buy just the lights, you have to buy the whole piece and it is really expensive. So to save yourself a lot of troubles, a couple of bucks or euros worth of silicone and an hour worth of job, I would say is a really good investment. But yeah, I have made it seem hard, but it isn't. So I hope you will try it yourself and please do let me know in the comments whether you find this thing necessary, whether you've done it and um, are grateful that it's done. Also, please do subscribe since plenty of you are still unsubscribed but watch regularly, so it would do me a great favor if you would just hit that button. I promise I won't ask for anything else. 
Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.